Welcome back to Butterbean, the mother of all guides. I'm Lucy, I'm a mum of two, a hypnobirthing practitioner and the founder of Butterbean. In this video, we'll be looking at medical interventions, but before we do, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the Butterbean channel for guidance and support on pregnancy, birth and beyond. A cascade of intervention happens when a labouring woman starts to receive um, medical help during labour and this can cause a knock-on effect of more intervention being needed. This might be because the intervention uh, tends to interfere with our natural hormones and the normal physiological process of birth and this can make labour harder and it might make it more painful. What could have been a low risk birth can end up being high risk and heavily medicated if a cascade of intervention happens. Of course, there are times when intervention is crucial in an emergency, it can save lives, but it's really important to know your options and feel a freedom to question intervention if it's not what you feel is going to benefit you, your body and your baby. The acronym BRAIN is crucial to keep in mind in these situations. It stands for benefits, risks, alternatives, intuition and nothing. Let's take the example of being offered syntocin to speed up labour. Syntocin is fake oxytocin, so it ramps up contractions and dilation. But this means that your endorphins aren't given the chance to be produced. This is because your brain doesn't get the message that they are needed and no pain killing hormones equal potentially a more painful labour. But with your BRAIN acronym at the ready, you can ask your midwife what the benefits of syntocin are, what, then you ask what the risks are, or if there's any alternatives. Next, you engage your gut reaction. What is your intuition telling you? If it's telling you there's gonna be a good option or a bad option. Finally, ask your midwife or doctor what happens if you just do nothing. Remembering this allows you to stay empowered.